Hello once again, friends and enemies, and welcome back to Chaotic Lore Bits, where I tell you interesting parts about Chaotic Lore. Today, we'll be talking about the Marillions, a tribe of mind-controlling, sort of fish people that live in Param. Starting off, there are a couple of different classes of Marillions. First of all, it's important to know that most of the time, Marillions are not using Mugic at all. In the place of Muges, Marillions have fluid morphers who are able to bend water to their will. And because of this power, whenever water damage is dealt to or by them, the fluid morphers gain a Mugician, which allows them to use Mugic. There are also the Kural, a group of Marillions that serve as the warriors of the tribe. The Marillion tribe has four chieftains that oversee the Kural and I believe also the fluid morphers, and then on top of all of it, they have the oligarch, the leader of the Marillion tribe. Now long ago in Param's past, the Marillions actually were relatively unknown as a tribe, with most dryland tribes not really knowing that they even exist. At the time, this was the preference of their oligarch Ferental. However, Ferental would keep scouts up on the dry lands of Param to keep track of the other tribes. So when one of Ferental's scouts learned about a weapon that the Mepedians were building to fight other tribes, it caught the attention of a fluid morpher named Mahadil. Overall, Mahadil ended up stealing this weapon known as the Clay and Sphere, and using its power was able to unlock the power of being able to attack and control other creatures' minds. After learning about this power, Mahadil shared it with Ferental and the rest of the Marillion tribe, and ensued the first Marillion invasion of Param. Now, for the most part, the first Marillion invasion was a success. They were able to successfully take over all of the tribes of Param. However, at some point, the Marillion Ani took over Ferental's seat as the oligarch and ordered the retreat of all Marillions. Ani constructed the doors of the deep mines to keep the other Param tribes at bay, while the Marillions could come up with a better plan to rule over all of Param completely. Ani had the existence of the Marillion tribe wiped from the memories of all creatures in Param, and then had one of the Marillion scouts named Felfor frozen in the ice pillar in the underworld. 2,000 Solons pass, and Felfor gets freed, melted out of the ice pillar, and lies to Kaor about the Marillions having the Kothika, ultimately kicking off the second Marillion invasion. Now, during this second Marillion invasion, we f get to see full force how the Marillions use their mind powers, being able to attack minds and control them and project themselves into the minds of other people. The Marillions pull out full stops when it comes to this second invasion, not only controlling the minds of Param's tribes, but also controlling the human chaotic players that come to Param, even going so far as to make simple deals with chaotic players to fight in the battle drones and help them come up with battle strategies. And while the second invasion goes almost completely smoothly, without any problems whatsoever, ultimately, Ani the Oligarch does get felled by the hands of Maxor, Kaor, and Iparu at Lake Blakir. After which, the Marillions all flee back behind the doors of the Deep Mines, except for just a few. Nunquern, a Marillion fluid morpher, actually gets assimilated into the Danian tribe after being infected by parasites. Other than that, other fluid morphers that remain on Param actually seem to lose their fluid morphing ability and become elementalists. I wanted to talk about the Marillions today because the Marillions, as a concept, are kind of scary. They're alien fish-type beings that can control your mind, that can project illusions of themselves into your mind. They can break your mind if they wanted to. One of the scariest Marillions, Cyrilene, was actually exiled from the Marillion tribe. And this is because of Cyrilene's very scary ability to steal the music of other tribes, completely just steal it. Overall, the Marillions are one of, if not my favorite Param tribe, followed closely by or competing with the Mepedians. The Marillions are a really interesting tribe and one of the best parts about Chaotic, in my own opinion. And there we have it. I've told you about the Merlian tribes and how they act. Hopefully you enjoyed the little lore bit. I didn't want to go too in depth 
into everything that happens with the Marillions. I just wanted to go over it in a really quick synopsis. But I still hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, drink your water.